What's going on YouTube? This is Long Lever bringing you a Paracord project this evening. What we have here is the Paraninja, or Undead Paraninja I should say, since it uses a uh, skull head. Uh, doesn't use much cord, pretty simple to do, except for the head wrap, which is going to be the majority of how to in this video since this is just, you know, the easy Cobra Braid. So let's go ahead and right, I'll show so you So what you're going to need for this project is you're going to need a skull bead which is horizontal. As you can see, there are some that are vertical. This one goes sideways. Uh, you can get these little beads at shoprobbies.com. This is where I got these, and I think they were $1.25 a piece, which is pretty cheap compared to some other beads that you can find out there. But if you have a skull that goes sideways, or really any bead, uh, this will be uh, for you. So what else you need is a pair of forceps. These are extremely important. Uh, for the head wrap, you're going to need about 15 to 18 inches. This one's 18 inches. Uh, I like to use it bigger than I need, and, you know, it's hard to make a rope longer after you cut it. So 18 inches for the head wrap, and then about 18 to 24 inches for the Cobra and the King Cobra. So let's go ahead and All show right, you how so to make start it. out, find about the center of your cord. There we go. You're gonna take your bead and you're gonna go up and you're gonna bring one cord out the right. And you're gonna bring one cord out the left, like so, leaving you a loop. You're gonna pull it down and you're gonna put the loop over his chin or thereabouts, like so. Um, the right cord, which he's facing that way, the right cord needs to be a little bit shorter than the left. You won't need as much on the right hand side as you will on the left. Just to kind of shorten it up just a little bit. Uh, for this first step, you're going to go ahead and bring the right cord behind and over like that. Then you're going to bring the left cord below, okay, over your left cord or your right cord that passed over, and over his nose. I'm going to get really close. So your right cord, which is shorter goes over first and down. Your left cord goes under, over the cord that goes down and over his nose, like so. These two cords right here, the ones that come out the back of his head, want, you wanna keep these underneath his skull. You don't wanna let them slip up and onto his forehead. Keep them underneath. You're gonna flip him over And this cord right here, which is the one that went up and around his nose, you're going to bring your nose cord through there to lock it down. Like so. And then tighten the forehead cord, the right cord, just a little bit. Okay? So this is what you have so far. Right short goes around, over and down, left cord goes down over your short cord, over the nose, and then underneath passes back through so you can kind of see how this makes almost like a ribbon, like a, you know, you just wrap it around then doing a knot, like so. Tighten her up a little bit kind of make things a little nicer there won't be much you can do to begin with but then you take your long cord which was the left that wrapped around his nose and back underneath and through you're gonna bring that over and in front of the short cord that went around and down and that's it Uh, 
Then you can kind of play with how tight it is, getting everything lined up right. Um, as you can see here, his chin cord slipped off a little bit. So force that back up. Ooh. There we go. Like so. It's not extremely perfect, but if you work it, you can get it um, to look correct. There you go. Okay. Then you're going to take your forceps. Once you get it pinched off as tight as you can, you're going to take your forceps and you're going to pinch right at the base of the skull and then lock it in. Like so. And that way he doesn't unravel and his head doesn't unravel. As you can see here, it's pretty long. You probably got about three inches left over for that 18 inch piece of cord. So 15 inches would probably be about perfect. Go ahead and take your other piece of cord. Find the halfway point, just like so. Start your cobra. Pinch it down since this is his face. Need to turn the knot around. Like so, make everything even. Figure out where you want his body to begin, which is probably about right there. Make sure to keep those forceps on there. It'll help keep the, uh, the head from unraveling. Then you'll just work the cobra back up. We'll go ahead and make his body real small so we can get this video over. But you just keep doing the cobra. Insert elevator music. Possibly a fast forward. And the purpose of having the forceps as close to his head as you can is that way you can get the cobra knot as close as you can. Once you get about to that point, which it's almost touching, go ahead and undo your forceps. Try not to jiggle his head too much. It can still come undone. Again, keeping track of all of his wraps to make sure he stays wrapped right. And then you can pull on his legs to cinch the uh, the cobra up. And then you'll just go back over with a king cobra. Probably one or two passes. This one we're going to do about two because I think I had more 18 inches instead of, you know, the 24 inches. That's about perfect. Could probably get a third one out of that, but... Once you take your time and you're not hurrying for video length, you can get his mask perfect, get everything lined up. Um, if you look at this one, it doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't slide down like it is on this guy. But that's it. That's how you do uh, the parent ninja. And then you would cut for his legs, cut to make his arms even. And that's it. So, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe, check out my other videos if you would, and everybody have a great night.